Hello there, Mikey, Mikey, Mikey here, and welcome back to another episode of Sir RuneScape. How is everybody doing? Guys, we are in a place that we are yet to visit in the series. Uh, a place that is very important, unless you are playing on Iron Man mode, and that is the Grand Exchange. Where we can come to buy and sell everything we have. Let's have a little... Uh, uh, what should we do? We'll go and exchange, actually, because we do need some new stuff and I don't know whether we're going to be able to uh, get it will you oh wait a second ah uh, we've got to take the tutorial first how very annoying um, but anyway guys what we're gonna do while I'm taking the tutorial uh, is show you all of the uh, exciting skills uh, that I've got up in between episodes so uh, I'll rejoin you after I've taken the tutorial and you've seen that Wonderful stuff. Okay, so I've done that, and yes, so you've seen uh, that I've got up in a few levels, including uh, we also used a divination rock uh, that someone summoned, which uh, gave you know, which gave us very quick divination. Or oh, sorry, gave us gave us very quick mining experience. If we were a higher divination le uh, level, we could have done it for longer and got a lot more experience. But there's still a limit on how much you do of it, so we can't actually uh, you know take the mick with it. But yes, we have gone up to 21 experience, which means we can now wield a mithril pickaxe now. That is one of the things that I wanted to come and buy. I don't know how much money it's going to be, but we shall have a look. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Uh, it also helps if you spell it right. But here, we can search for any item. So, Mithril. And if I space P, Mithril pickaxe. How much is this? 3,100. Right, so we obviously don't have that at the moment. But we do have some stuff in our bank. Now, can we go to the bank? No? Okay, cool. Let's... Uh, Let's bank on this guy then. We're going to get some items out that we can possibly sell that we aren't using at the moment. Now, the Staff of Air is worth a little bit. We can sell that. Uh, we can also sell... Uh, what else can we sell? Oh, these need to go in there. What other lovely things can we sell that we don't need right now at this exact moment in time? Well, we can try and sell 100 oak logs. Uh, we want to take them noted, actually. Uh, so you can change it to this, to noted. So this this just turns them into pieces of paper. Is it is it on? The note withdrawal. Is it is it on? Uh, let's take one log. See what happens. No, it's not on. Click it. Now it's on. So we should be able to take a hundred loak uh, logs, hundred oak logs. Yes, lovely. And we can also take a hundred willow logs. And now let's see how much we can get from all this. So if we uh, quickly offer this. And uh, we'll put it down by a bit of percentage. Confirm the offer, see if anyone buys it. Someone's bought it straight away, and they bought it for 1,749 coins, which is brilliant. So let's offer some oak logs up. And let's uh, put them down a bit like this. And let's see how much we'll, we'll be able to get that for that. Oh, lovely. So there we go, 12,000 coins. We don't really even need to sell the willow ones. Uh, we can actually just leave them, because we probably have enough now for everything I need. So let's go back to the banker. Put all these back in. Now we are going to need to take, not noted, hopefully this isn't noted now, but we're going to need to take 12 logs out. And there is a reason for that that I'll show you in a minute. Um, right, so let's go to the, let's exchange room again. And once again, go buy, go to Mithril Pickaxe. And there we go. Now we should be able to see if we can get one for a little bit less money. 
No, okay. Because we want it now. We have no time to wait for this. So let's take our money back. Let's buy it again. Uh, let's see. Mithril pickaxe. Lovely. And let's just, I'll tell you what, let's put it up. I don't really care, to be honest. We'll overpay for it. Come on. Lovely. So we've got a Mithril pickaxe there. Or 30 gold. So it was pretty much that. Uh, and the next thing is for our... What level wood cutting do we need to be? Oh, that's not wood cutting, you back. Um, what hatchet can we use? We can use an adamant, <coughs> an adamant hatchet. Excuse my sort of clearing my throat and my nose at the moment, guys. I know in the last episode I had to cut out so many sniffs, but I bet I missed a few uh, because it's, I'm just still not amazingly well at the moment. I'm trying my hardest uh, not to sniff and stuff, but sometimes, can I please go back? But uh, yeah, I sometimes miss it out. So very sorry about that. Right, so adamant uh, axe. No, hatchet. It's hatchet. Come on. Lovely. So let's get one of these. Oh, wow. They're nice and cheap. Let's uh, boost that up a bit. See if we can get it. Wonderful news. There we go. So that is that sorted. So we still got 8,397 left. Um, I'm wondering whether we should buy anything else. Now, for the moment, that is all we want. So what we can do with these now is right click, add to tool belt, and right click, add to tool belt. So now we have both of them added to our tool belt. If we have a little look in, oh, I don't actually know where it is. Is it in here? Is it in this bit? It is. So we can see our mithril pickaxe and our adamant hatchet. The only problem is we don't get the bronze one back, which I actually hate. I think that's rubbish and we should get it back. We should be able to sell it to general store for a little bit of money, a little bit more reward. Because when we now get a rune one, we won't be able to sell that one back. That's it, we'll get a rune pickaxe, uh, or hatchet, sorry, and a rune pickaxe at some point. It'll go over them too, and then we'll just lose them. Which I find very, very strange, but anyway, never, uh, never, never. Right, okay, so yes, we have these, and the reason I wanted to uh, use these is because Actually, we can't lightify here. No, we can't. No, we can't. We have to go out the front. Can't do any of that here. Grand Exchange actually looks a lot different to what I used to know it as. We had four different bits in the corners, which is where you could do all that stuff. But now it's just one place in the middle. Right, we should be able to light these here. And now, if we can we do this? Does it still does it let us do this now? No. Yes, you, you can. We can put all our logs into this. And as you can see here, challenge updated. One out of 12. Two out of 12. Bonfire lit, lovely, and this will actually boost us with the uh, with the amount with the right amount of logs. It will actually give us a little boost to our health. Are we going to go up a level? Yeah, we should do. It shouldn't be too hard. It's just taking quite a while because we're such a low level uh, fire making. We can't even light these quick. So come on, Mister. Should be throwing them in there. Level four fire making. Wonderful news. Uh, after this, we will indeed open up our treasure chest as well. But yes, this is our daily challenge that we're getting through. Uh, the other ones I looked at the that forest one, uh, Nemi Forest. It's I think you have to do a quest for it or something. It's a bit of a strange one. It's not actually on the map. It's a weird like instance. Uh, don't know if we're going to be able to do that, but I'm going to have a look at the other ones and see whether there are more we can do. Level five fire making. So we're racing up in fire making, which is one of my. Well, it's not the most hated skill. Obviously, the bonfire does help now. That's that's made it a little bit better, but it's just wasting the resources that you could use to get another skill up. But I suppose I suppose both are the same. They go hand in hand. But at least with doing fletching, you can actually use them for weapons and arrows, uh, all the shafts that you would then make. But anyway, we don't care about that. Level six fire making. Cool, we are. We're, we're racing up. Absolutely racing up. Look at all the levels we are getting right now. Uh, and I think that will... Oh, actually, we might get another level here. We might get another level here. It's looking like we're going to get another level. Fantastic. So look at that. Some easy levels. Taking our total little, le little level up to 159, which is great. And there we go. We can now go back to the, uh, the challenge mistress and give her... Well, and tell her that we've completed it. Get our reward. So what else do we have here? Pickpocket Pompous Merchants. I should have a look where they are for us. Um, I might do that because that would be a good one for us to get and short bows string short bows okay i was gonna show fletching today anyway so let's head i tell you what let's uh let's teleport to uh to Taverly. to Taverly, or is it burthorpe i think it actually might be it's one of the two we'll, we'll go to Taverly, and that'll be fine uh, and guys i will see you in a second i'm gonna uh clear my throat and stuff so you don't have to hear it and then i'll be i'll be back okay guys so here we are back in Taverly. Uh, and we first, actually, yes, we're going to do our treasure hunter keys. So, ooh, these look fun. Adamant chest double prizes. Well, blow me down. We've got one of these. And what is that? Two times Guam potion unfinished. Lovely. We'll put that straight in the bank. 
Wonderful. Oh, okay. Dragon chest quadruple prizes. Yeah, quadruple the rubbish prizes. Goodness sake. Four bro times the bronze bar. Okay, lovely. We'll put them in the bank as well. That's wonderful. Oh, normal chest. How boring. And uh, yet again, it's another common. And then we've only got one more after this. What is this going to be? Okay. Small form of star fletching. Quintuple prizes from a god chest. Please, can it be good? Oh, for goodness sake. It's never good, is it, when it's a quintuple chest? All right. Five times prismatic stars. So I suppose that's kind of cool. Okay. Out we go. Lovely stuff. So let's uh, take that. So we've got 75 bonus experience fletching, which is very good because that's what we're about to do. Uh, and then what do you really think I'm going to put these in? I mean, really. Let's cut them all into construction. Uh, you find 10 oddments. They've been added to your pouch. Oh, see, I should I, I should get the other ones out of the bank. Um, is there anything else I should really put this in just to make it easier? I really do think like construction is one of the hardest. I'm I've, I've probably messing this up, and there's someone that plays the game a lot more than me probably going, oh, for goodness sake, you shouldn't be putting them into that, but it's such an expensive skill to put into. What do we have in it now? Where is uh, construction? There. We've got 3,028 experience. That's great news. That is. But anyway, this is what we were here for. We're here to pick some flax, so we just stand here, do a bit of picking. Farming experience as well. That's great. So it gets us one farming experience. Is that it? <gasps> oh, I pick up there. <laughs> so do I have to keep clicking it? Okay, I have to keep clicking it apparently. Blink, so let's do this. Oh, one. This isn't the way to usually farm, guys. For those of you that don't know, this isn't real farming. This is just picking flax for uh, which gives you farming experience because that is effectively what it is. But real farming, you actually plant the seeds, water them, and all that jazz. Proper farming. So let's uh, click away. Listen to my mouse as it clicks. Oh, nice. This one's actually giving us quite a lot, which is nice. Good stuff. Nice and much easier to just click from one. Two more is all we need. Lovely. Right, then we can go over to here. Um, up here somewhere there. Lovely. Weave the loom. I think this is correct. I blooming well hope so. If not, we'll have to do something else. Is this it? No, that's how to do that. Okay. Where's the... Uh, where do you spin the flax? Anybody know where you spin flax? Hello? Not, <laughs> for goodness sake, guys. I'm going to have to... Oh, it's there. No, it is there. There's a spinning wheel. For goodness sake. Come on. See it right there. I've just missed it. Right, okay. Spin a lot of bowstrings. Beautiful. 28 of them. So this is going to get me crafting experience as well. Another thing that we haven't really done. This is a good way to start off crafting. This will get us up a level uh, doing this. So it's a nice, easy way. You just get pick the flax. Go over here. Get a bit of crafting experience. And uh, there we go. A level two in crafting. I like nobody's business. Uh, we still the flashing with this. Can I click this at the same time? Does it still do the rest of the other things? It still does it good. And if I, oh look, crafting level three now. We've gone up. Well, uh, at the end we will look at, have a look at that and see how much we get through. Let's have a quick sip of my drink. Oh, lovely! Look at all, look at all the wonderful experiences. We go up again, level four. See. So this is uh, effectively how I'm going to be doing a little bit of crafting in between the episodes, getting us some bow strings ready, so we can make some bows and that. Uh, it's so blooming easy, and also you can sell these bow strings for quite a lot of money. This is a nice way to make money in RuneScape uh, to get these back. But there we go. So level five, we can make gold rings, all sorts of other stuff. Here's all the things that we've now been able to uh, get. So please have a look at that. If uh, pause the video if you want to check any of that, we can make wizard stuff. Oh, how fun! If, if only we were a mage. Uh, but there is something that I do want to be making at some point uh, for our uh, archery or our range skill. But anyway, let's go up here, take the bowstrings back, and then we are going to go to the bank. Where's the bank? There we go. And we'll talk to Miss uh, Ferra, Freya, someone, later. Put all them in. Draw them now. Craft the logs into with the knife which which is fletching and then unstrung short bows so there we go we got 28 to be made here so here we go we are getting our first bit of fletching experience so this is what fletching is again it's a, you know as with most skills or a lot of the skills in this game it's very simple you just stand there you make what you need and again if this was iron man this would be so important to you know to be leveling up to be able to get yourself a new bow before you go and attack things when you do quests and stuff like that but yes there we go level two uh, 10 experience a time so it's not mega mega fast uh, and we are well over halfway through now 
but we will be going up to level 3 and possibly getting close to level 4. Oh yeah, very close. About 21 experience off, I think, is uh, is what we'll be. Oh no, wait, we're only getting 5 now. Oh, so that was bonus experience, of course it was. So that was the only reason why we went up uh, that quickly. Okay, never mind. But anyway, that is fantastic. So we've made... Do we have to do that? Oh no, we have to string them, right? Okay. So now we go to the bank booth. We're going to deposit 12 and then 2 more. And then we're going to take out all the bowstrings we can. And then we are going to click on this as string. String the bowstring, flex them all, and this should hopefully be... Yep, yeah, there we go. It's 1 out of 10, 2 out of 10, so we're getting even more experience uh, in fletching now. And we should go up another level. 16 left, 11. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Beautiful. Up we go another level. And now let's talk to Farah. That was her name. Got anything for me? Yes, I've completed some challenges. Wonderful. Let's check this one. Short bows. Lovely. 236 experience in it. And uh, normal logs as well. And 319 in fire making. Looks like that's everything. We've gone up some more levels. Oh, lovely. We're up to level 6 in fletching and 9 in fire making. Anything new in fire making? Not really. We can't burn anything more. No more burning. Fletching. Wonderful. Oh, one of the requirements for big chompy bird hunting. How good is that? Lovely stuff. All right, so there we go. We've got another couple of things done. Now, the next thing is that I'm going to be doing is going somewhere and showing you some divination because we haven't done that yet. Oh, wait, we've also got challenge mystery bag. Oh, hello, dragon bones. Oh, I tell you what. These are uh, very good. For, you can sell these for quite a lot of money. Let's have a look how much they're worth. 1714 each. Wow, look at that. Lovely little pile of money there. But uh yes, we could bury them also. I think there's another way we could well, another thing we could do with them. Maybe save up all the bones that I can until we get a house and then we can put them in our altar and bury them there and it gets us a lot more experience. I think we're going to leave it. I might be wrong. I'll uh, I'll have a look and we're also at some point in today's episode going to show you what to do with these strange rocks as well. Uh, let's withdraw all the ornaments and do what we were going to do and put them in the bag. Uh, add to currency pouch. There we go. So in our currency pouch now we can see all the different types of currency. We've got ornaments, none of these, no bonds, uh, and obviously we've got our normal money just there. That's lovely. So can we get that back off the screen? Yes, we can. And also, I'm bank these. How much are these worth if we were just to sell these? Wow, 692 a go as well. Blooming heck. What are just these on their own? Bowstrings. 222, yeah, so this does actually, this is better, 222, yeah, so stringing them into bows are actually better, it seems, fantastic, we've also got a small combat training dummy, now, I don't know whether it has to be, well, let's have a look, do we get to choose whether it's range, like a ranged one, lovely, so we, oh, hello, there's another one here as well, so if we deploy this over here, Maybe a bad choice. No, this is fine. Apparently, this is still allowed and it gets us experience. Right, so this should be giving us bonus range experience, I think, and I hope. And I think other people can actually do it to give them more as well. But I don't know whether this still counts as divination or whether this just counts as normal. I think it's not divination. I'm pretty sure we've used up all we can for the day uh, and can't do it anymore. So let's just see what this does. Oh, we've got a nice bit of constitution there, actually. Oh, we're doing, we're doing another one, so we're still going. So I'm not really too sure what's happening here where we've got another one. Uh, but okay, 50, <laughs> 1,500 health now. That's great. And we've got 20 left in range before we go up a level. What does that give us? Nice. Okay, and another one's popping up. Okay, so this is some nice, easy experience. Uh, so we're, you know, we're getting up our attack here just by doing nothing. I mean, again, again, if we're gonna be, you know, <laughs> like me and like the old Roosgate, this is just nothing. Like, why am I getting the points for this so easy? This is ridiculous. Look, we're still going. We're still getting me loads of points doing nothing really. Standing here on a path, attacking a dummy, and it's it's raising my range and that uh, very easily. But oh well. This is part of the game now. When we do, uh, what's it called? When we do Iron Man, we'll play it properly like that. We'll do if there, are, if if we even can do any of this, I won't do it. Wow, it's still going. This is quite ridiculous. Maybe you can only do one a day. But then, yeah, that might be the thing. We'll do one a day. And what we, we even if it isn't, we're only going to do one a day. That's uh, that's it. So, I mean, this this is it keeps getting up. Is that it? It's finally done. Okay, well, we've leveled up a little bit there. We've increased our combat level as well. Fantastic. Let's put this 
in there and we'll do another one another day wonderful right okay what's this divine lobster but what i can't actually get lobsters and i can't do anything either because i have no oh there's a mithril rock as well so these are things that you can also do daily you can make one plot daily or the amount i don't know it goes up with divination we're going to look into it as we go through it i'll be explaining that later but yes i'm going to find the first divination place uh, and i will uh, bring you back when i found it guys here we are guys at the first uh divination area the pale wisps here we go you find 31 memory strands here we go so this is what we're getting we're getting uh, teleport memory strands i don't even know what they are actually you can use them to teleport to the memorial to Guthix. how wonderful right okay but otherwise we can just harvest these normally uh, and then when we've got them all we can go and convert them uh, over there now this there also what we're looking for is the big flashy ones there's big <laughs> slightly bigger ones that give you more points uh, and stuff like that but I think I don't think there's one anywhere at the moment uh, have, I, have I stopped doing anything? I've stopped doing anything. So yes, that's all we have to do. It's very dark over here, but we just take, we harvest the Pale Springs to them, and we get a full inventory, and we actually get some stuff. Uh, there we go, we've got one then, yet yeah, we are getting them. Uh, and then we take them over to there. What's that? No, that's just a normal Pale Wisp. We're looking, we're looking for anything that's bigger and shinier, but I think, uh, I think these are all the same. And obviously you can see other people starting off doing it, but they are much higher level. Oh, this one is much higher level than us still. Level 119. Wow. We are nowhere near the Black Knight level 30 over there as well. One for Let's see if we can get a bit closer as well to the place where we, we're going to need to... Uh, wait, where is it? What do we do? We convert memories, but we there's a certain way we convert them as well. And I'll be seeing that in a minute. We also get this pale energy, which is what we need to make those little, uh, you know, when people are making those those weird rocks out of nothing and the all different other stuff like that. <coughs> Excuse my throat again, guys. Oh my goodness, it's so annoying. <laughs> I'm definitely going to go to sleep with my window closed tonight and my uh, fan on and that's it. That'll be my source of cool air rather than the, uh, the outside world because it's driving me insane. Right, okay. So if we can convert memories. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not the way I wanted you to do it. Wait, configure. Here we go, so convert it to XP. Wish to use the spare energy. No, we just want this one. Yeah, we just want, you will now convert the memories into experience. Yep, that's what we want. We want experience mostly out of anything, I think. Well, it still looks like we're getting the same amount, to be honest, we're only getting plus three. Hmm. Okay, wait, let's uh, configure again. What happens if we do this then? What, well, we're still getting three for that? Four, we'll get even more for that. Right, that's obviously the best one then. Oh no, we're using up our, ah, oh, terrible choice. Terrible choice, configure it again. So that convert all your memories into divine energy. Yeah, no, that's not good. Okay, so we actually want that. So we do want the middle one. Okay, right, figured it out, figured it out. Lovely jubbly, it's all sorted, everything's fine, don't worry about me. Alright, let's go, let's not drop down a tree, let's go and get another wisp. So this, yes, is divination. Now we've gone up one level, which is very exciting and wonderful. Uh, and to be honest, I don't really need to show you that much more of it. I just wanted to make sure another skill was shown to you. So if I wanted to do anything in between episodes, uh, then I definitely could. So yes, this is another one done. And if we have a look at this now, we can make a port portent of restoration. How wonderful. And uh, other stuff as well in Demonheim. So, how blooming exciting. Let's quickly go and uh, convert the rest of these like this. Bring back the 14 that we now have, which is uh, not very many, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, and then, what else is there to go for? So, let's have a look at the skills and see what we haven't done. Ah, agility. Right, okay. Off we go, because there should be an agility course in Berthorpe, and that is where we are going to go right now. Uh, to show you the agility skill as well. The agility skill is quite a funny one. It's a, it's a very... Uh, Although a lot of these skills are you, you know, it's repetitive, the agility course you have to be clicking the repetitive places. So you have to consistently click round, click round, click round, click round, and then, uh, and stuff like that. But yes, so where's the Berthorpe agility course? Is it over here? It looks a lot like it's over here. Lovely stuff, right. Do I need to talk to this guy or do I just go? Everyone needs to keep themselves in tip top shape. I want to train agility. You get on that assault course and you run around until your lungs burn. Go, go, go. 
I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't really know what's happening right now, but I have to run in, walk the log beam. Here we go. So this is agility. We're walking the log beam. Please don't fall off the first beam. Absolutely fantastic. Climb up the wall. It's telling us to go backwards because it's ridiculous. I'd like to unpin it now, to be honest. But never mind. Up we go. Oh, look at all this agility. We're getting all this experience. Have we, uh, have we got some bonus in there? No, don't know what that was. It looked like we were getting bonus. Yeah, 0 0.1. What? What a ridiculous load of ridiculous. Okay, but when you complete the agility course, like at the end, because we're only getting teeny little bits from this, when you actually complete it, if you get to the end of the agility course, you get a bonus for completing the whole thing. So that's great. Swing across the monkey bars. Come on. So a lot of them you can fall off and hurt yourself, and uh, that is the... Uh, that is where the you know the downsides of doing this is because you might not be able to complete it if you hurt yourself too much. But there you go, 47 experience at the end, lapping it up, lovely. Uh, we are actually going to quickly go and hand that in as well. So that will take two seconds. But yes, so there we go. Once again, that's another thing shown to you guys. Uh, that's the agility course. But yes, are we, are we done it. No, we got it. No, what are you doing? What are you doing? We got to do it eight times. What are you doing? <laughs> that was so close quick what a waste of time right back we go back we go through yes walk the course i don't know what we're doing click on it please click on it lovely all right so there we go this is uh oh here we go the ah oh, he's fallen off he's fallen off has he hurt himself? he hasn't even hurt himself oh so you can't actually hurt yourself here what a burk i mean oh lovely look there we go level two fantastic can we do anything different increased combat level oh okay agility actually helps with your combat level I wonder how so. Can I actually look at this? I've clicked on it three times now. Do I have to be stopped? Lovely. I can play Gnome Ball now. Oh yes, we can play Gnome Ball. What an excitement. All the things that we have to cover in this Let's Play. And by goodness, are we going to do it? We're going to do it all. Did you just stumble at trying to climb over a little... <sighs> My goodness. It's embarrassing is what it is. Don't you fall down there because then I've got to go all the way back up. And don't you dare. You've fallen enough times on this one. Come on. Well done. Good for you. Jump down the ledge and get the big bonus experience point. But yes, guys, I'm going to complete the rest of this and then we'll go and turn it in. And uh, it'll probably be around about the time for the end of the episode. So, yes, I'll see you in a minute, guys. we have done and look at all the flashy flashies look we've got this ranged uh there we go lovely we've got all these fairy rings lovely and agility every time we level up it seems to say that our combat level rises up i don't know whether that's a joke or not because it doesn't it doesn't at all now uh, we can now use the falador agility shortcut how exciting uh, and a bit more hit points which is just great right okay let's talk to uh actually let's turn in the challenge just do that burthorpe agility course Here's your award. Lovely stuff. That's everything. And up we go. Another level of agility. Oh, yes. Level 8 now. River Crossing to Elkridge shortcut. Lovely. Okay. Uh, so that's that one done. And did we get anything else for it? No, we didn't. Okay. What? I want to know what these, these memory strands are. I'm going to definitely look into that and see what they are. Oh, we've got... We, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We got a, we got some treasure hunter keys right here. Oh yes, let's uh, let's end this episode using these hunter keys. So come on then, what have we got? Blue ones, I don't know what that means. I mean extra, is it double or something like that? Don't know. Oh baby! Oh and if it's double, what do we get here then? Three huge lamps of fishing. Oh my goodness, yes. Well that is very, very nice. We won't moan at that one bit. Uh, so we're going to get a nice few levels in fishing here, surely. Uh, and what have we got here? A fallen start of magic. We don't really use magic, but we can leave it there. God chest. Here we go. Come on, God chest. Give us something amazing, please. Oh, orange. Yes. Okay. Five prismatic star. Oh, my goodness. Wow. That is very... Right, let's rub this of fishing. Okay, 745. Lovely. Fishing level 10. Even more. Ah, uh, even more again. Well, would you look at that. <laughs> oh my goodness, what? What? We've just gone from, I think, level 5 all the way to level 19 in fishing. Look, again, I've said it before and I'll say it again. That is effortless, what we've just done there. We've just done nothing. We've stood there, we've clicked a chest, and we've just been able to go up to level 19. I... 
am wondering whether I should do a whole other RuneScape playthrough at some point, uh, where we just we don't we convert it all to oddments and stuff like that. We never use anything like that. We just do it normally. Although I will just do that, and that'll be the Iron Man. So yeah, again, we're looking forward to that, guys. If this is annoying to you, please just bear with it anyway, because I know it's annoying to me too. But still, it's going to be an amazingly long series, nonetheless. We're gonna, you know, that's the way I look at it. We're still going to take us ages to ever get to the to level ninety nine and all these skills. So. You know, this is helping us along in our series. The Iron Man one yet, that is going to be the challenge, the big challenge. But look at all the things we can now do. Got all the, all the levels we need for fishing contests. Well, I should imagine so. But look at all this. Get all these new, all these different types of fishing as well that I haven't yet done with us. Right, okay. So, there's the magic one. Some bonus to that. Large Fallen Stars. They're going to all be chucked into construction again. Uh, and guys, the next episode, I think it's going to be time. Oh, I don't know. We haven't got really enough to go into it, to be honest. I don't know. We'll have a look at some other skills as well. We've got Slayer to do. I th I'm thinking that Slayer uh, is going to be next, the next skill that we do. But look at all of this. 5,752 in construction. That bonus XP is going to help us out a bunch. Um, but yes, we've got Slayer. We haven't even touched Slayer yet. Uh, we haven't touched Summoning. We haven't touched uh, Thieving. Uh, so we've got so many more to do. Even cooking, actually. Cooking I should do. I should cook all the uh, food that we've got. In fact, I'll do that in between episodes. I'll cook all the food that we've got because we are level one cooking and we know how to cook. We've done it in the tutorial. All is fine. But yes, we've also got room crafting. There's a lot of skills to, to do in this game and it's going to take us ages. So that is the one reason why in this series I don't mind about using all the prismatic stars and that. Uh, it's you know it's not too much of a worry. You know, I, I know it's different. I know it's making it very easy, but... Yes, guys, it's uh, it's it, the Iron Man one. Don't worry. When it finally comes here, we're gonna we're gonna build up the suspense and want for it because you know I mean I, I want to play it now. It's unbelievably exciting to me now, but still. Yeah, we're going to build up all that suspense and then we're going to finally do it and it's going to be amazing. But yes, guys, thank you very much for watching this episode. If you have enjoyed it, please drop a like and subscribe. But apart from that, I will see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.